how much fentanyl were you taking and how was your withdrawal? I kicked once at my mom's house after smoke. I was smoking no more than like a gram, gram and a half a day. And the scary part about it was I forgot what it was like. And that's what made me go back out and relapse because I forgot what it was like to be going through withdrawals. Yeah. So I was like, dude, I can do this one more time. Yeah. Like, it wasn't that bad, but it just fucking came back 10 times worse. Yeah, dude, I tried detoxing at my mom's house like every weekend for like a good like six months. And I'd get like just... two days, I'd be like, no, can't fucking do it. Fucking ride my bike sweaty as fuck in the cold downtown, <laughs> go buy some more fit. So Homes people. So what you knew you had fentanyl and you would sell I, it. I, it was I, like I, an I, unspoken so that's, thing. Yeah, so that's, I didn't know it was fake at first. And then like I started kicking and I was like, why am I kicking? And then I just slowly started to realize uh, and, and the same know. thing was happening with you. Yeah, and yeah, you guys yeah, were yeah. selling it to your friends. We were, it was like a little community thing. Yeah, like, I, for me it was. But you knew. At some point. I, I had homeboys who like, they so sold they it, but they would tax it because they were drug dealers. They would make money. But homeless people, they were like, oh, you're dope sick. I'll fucking hook you up. Because like, yeah, they know what it's a like. Because they know what it's like being on the street, being dope sick. So it's like, why would I go to my homie that's going to tax me a fucking... 80 bucks a G when I could go get a G for 40 bucks downtown from a homeless person. But yeah, you're selling it to your friends and you're like, here, the, I think this is chill. You're almost in denial. Yeah. And then people start it's dying bad. because you have what you think is Percocet, but really it's fentanyl because the Mexican cartels are cutting it with it's all fentanyl. fentanyl, bro. Like, it's just... But true. where's it coming? It's coming from... Oh, San Francisco. It comes from the Hondurans. The cartels cut the, the dope with... I don't want to say anything about the cartel. <laughs> I just know <laughs> I see on Vice <laughs> News. Fentanyl that's killing people is not from America. It's from China. Blame the Chinese. Oh. They don't actually come over here and chop you up and put you on a bridge with a sign. 